give it a chance. You know, if you don't want it, give it to somebody who actually wants it and do something nice instead of tearing it, tearing it down, making it some parking garage or some condo apartment, things like that. I just feel like it's, it's an outlet for so many kids and you take that advantage of it. Throughout the, process, oh, sorry about that. Throughout the process of you know, the voting, all that stuff, were you ever involved in that or were you allowed to put your two cents into what you thought about it? I mean, definitely so, but like I said, the city don't give a shit about that. They don't, they don't care. Um, so why should we now? Like, you can put your word in and say that you want to be a part of it. How can you do it? But it's about money now. So if they feel like they can make money on it and, and do what they got to do, then that's what they're going to do. There's nothing we can do about it. You know, we put our two cents in and, and we tried to, you know, do it. Um, his by her type thing and, and all, all these different foundations that we try to partner with to get the ball rolling for that. And, just like sometimes it feels like they don't care. Who did you speak with or who, how were you able to let your voice be heard? Did I someone mean, reach out to you? Or? I mean, yeah, there's a detective called Harry Dunn that actually graduated from Briarwood that has his own foundation um, that, that we were doing. You know, Robert Mathis is helping out with it a little bit. Um, you know, Jeremiah from Prime 47 yeah. is, is, is helping, but and it's like we're, we're trying to, you know, get the ball rolling. It's always, you know, roadblock after roadblock after roadblock. And like I said, it's, it's who has the most money, I guess, will figure it out. And if it's about money, then it's really nothing we can do because it's always a guy that has way more than what you got.